Hi guys, welcome once again to The Locker. I am your host, Legends of Cybertron, in a brand new versus video. Okay, so what do we have on our list for today? Well, that is quite simple. We got Magic Square and we got Iron Factory. And we got the character we all know and love, Huffer. Who likes to, you know, blow a gasket or two. <clears throat> anyway. Pretty much this video is just a comparison to show you what you get in each figure, not an actual transformation, that's for the actual reviews. And just basically show you the boxes, what you get in the box, etc. It's going to be pretty much a quick video. No, not even a comparison to any other figure that I've got, just these two. Now obviously both of these are extremely awesome. Uh, Magic Square and Iron Factory are basically, have their own... Um, I can say bits that I love. Okay, well, first off, we got a G1 toon accurate type of huffer here, as you can see, and then we got like an IDW Iron Factory proper Iron Factory version huffer here. One has grey paint uh, with a bit of silver on the old bumper and uh, you know the grill and the wind windshield wipers. Then the rest of it is grey with the dark blue, light blue. Orange plastic, uh, pretty much it, on the Black Blaster, obviously. And the other one has metallic arms, a metallic blaster, metallic bumper, metallic grill, uh, metallic pieces on the on the feet here. See, got nice little detailing going all the way around. Where kind of magic square? Well, they do, but they. I mean, I like Iron Factory better, you know, for detailing. But then again, Iron Factory are not looking for G1 accurate, are they? You know, they're looking for IDW type of style, which is good. I quite like it. Um, obviously, e each bit is just a slightly bit different. Uh, these canopies do open up so you can move the head round and, you know, whatever. Put that down there uh, and hopefully will fall. And um, basically... Uh, Magic Square has a nice little Autobot symbol there uh, in the plastic mould. So if you put a, you can put a, a nice little uh, emblem on there if you want to. This also opens up, see, as you can see. And that is pretty much that. Uh, the box is pretty self-explanatory. We'll just put them there so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, there is nothing really much to the boxes. And, you know, these are basically... Just shows you what it's like in alt mode, etc. And then in each box you get the instructions. Okay. This one, I'll show you more about these when I start reviewing them. You get a nice little ID card here for Magic Square. And with Iron Factory you get the obligatory uh, plastic wrapped um, instructions. Which I'm not going to undo just yet. I'll do it when I you know, transform him. But you also get three extra sets of hands. Uh, which is pretty good if you ask me. Um, Iron Factory, you always get extra hands with them anyway, just so you can do extra pauses and stuff. It's just extra options really with Iron Factory. Um, but this uh, by Magic Square is obviously the old version. They have brought him out again, and I think he's got uh, metallic silver arms uh, and legs, I think it is. Not sure what else you get in the box, whether it's just the same type of setup, you know, with the card and instructions gone and you know the old figure uh, i know the packaging is quite honestly different uh, then iron factory this is pretty much it this is how you get it you know which is nothing wrong with that quite a good figure nice little strong figure too there we go just there we are stand him up not much else to say about these figures, except, you know, they're both awesome in their own right. The only other Huffer 
is a mech fans toys version which i think you normally when you buy him you end up buying pipes as well which is fair enough um but yeah that's that's it there's like literally three versions excuse me there's like literally three versions of Huffer. that's it now obviously new age they haven't brought those out yet pretty sure they'll bring those out very soon um i'm not really sure what new age are gonna do next i'd like to probably see a down bottle or two but you know that's just the way it is but anyway that's pretty much the video like i say it's just a quick five minute video oh well it's going over five minutes now but you know what i mean uh, just a versus, just what you get in the packet, what they look like together, etc. And um, that's pretty much it. If you like the content here on Legends of Cybertron Reviews, or The Locker, for short, um, please subs please like, subscribe, tell your friends about me, share the video as much as you want, and uh, share the channel. Yes, share that channel. Uh, you can also find me over on Instagram as Legends of Cybertron or Legend Scale Collector, which I also do have a website called legendscalecollector.com where you can find a nice little Legend Scale Almanac. And that uh, details 35 current current companies. Well, I'm saying current. Some of them are discontinued, like, you know, Papa Toys, Mech Planet, etc. Um, but there's 35 companies there, all full list. You should see the state of New Age. It's like literally four pages long. But they, that's an, an ongoing, shall we say. Um, yeah, so and that's free to download. You can edit it any way you want. Um, yeah, pretty much it. So, uh, oh, and uh, you can also subscribe to the Locker channel on my website, which is pretty much like Patreon. Um, whatever I upload onto the website within a week will be on YouTube, unless it's a special, in which case then it'll be two weeks and then it'll be on YouTube. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Hope you can see you guys again soon. Bye for now.